Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise, this is Dear Designs, and I didn't vlog at all over the weekend. Um, today I'm going to do a vloggy type catch-up video. <laughs> um, well, I say vloggy type, I'm just going to sit down, show you what I've been working on over the weekend. Um, I am so hot. Um, it is Monday, the 22nd of March. Um, it has been exactly a year today that we have been in lockdown. Uh, or no, not yeah. So exactly a year ago today, we went into our first lockdown. Shops were closed and things. I think that's Ian coming home, so he might come in the door while I'm recording. But we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> um, we, me and Ian, had our vaccinations on Friday, and um, I didn't have no after symptoms or after effects. What's it called? I didn't have none of it. Anyway, Ian was quite ill. Um, he, as soon as he had the injection, it was about 10, 15 minutes later, he was like, my arm is dead. It's really bad. Um, and then that night his body just <laughs> sort of um, went into shutdown mode. He didn't want to move. He had headache. Um, he, he suffers with his knees anyway, but um, he was literally like, crying in pain because he just could not move not literally crying but like every time he moved he was like oh oh <laughs> like that um and then saturday he was in bed until probably about four o'clock in the afternoon um he was really really bad where i was totally fine now that's ian ringing me let me answer this i'll be back sorry about that <laughs> um yeah he's literally got home and he needs to go back out again so he's asked if i wanted to go because it's such a lovely day so i said yes i'll take any opportunity to get out of this flat and go for a drive but i said i'm gonna film this first so um yeah so he was quite ill saturday sunday he was fine uh he said his arm hurt a little bit but not nothing too drastic um my arm is tender to the touch but nothing I, I can lift it and do what i need to do um so yeah that was that uh so the weekend was a write-off really um because i didn't really do anything other than knit lots on my jumper which my plans are um i have a test knit that i need to start <laughs> um and what i want to do what i wanted to do so on Saturday morning, my plan was to knit for the whole weekend just on my jumper to get at least a little bit done on the grey. So I'll show you that. I'm on to the second grey ball now. I have put this on um, extended needle, so I'll put another cable in and tried it on. And oh my god, <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> Why do I always do this to myself? I always knit things that are too big. Um, but this is it so far you can't really see much uh, so let me just hold the front so this is it so far um, I was thinking oh maybe I could just do it cropped and just do like a couple of um, a couple of maybe centimeters and then a rib um, so maybe do it cropped I have still got that in mind so it's not a um, full jumper and just do it sort of like a spring type jumper because flamingos the grass the is it a bit springy wow i'm going in and out of focus i don't think it can handle the uh the jumper hello i'm still out of focus ah oh, i'm back <laughs> um so i don't know whether to have it as a cropped maybe not cropped but maybe just cropped sleeves um i don't know what do you think um because i don't think it's a winter jumper at all it is more of a spring jumper um it is in double knit and i just don't know what to do but my plan was to knit as much on this as i could over the weekend which i did and i think i got good progress considering it's coming out massive for me um my measurement is 53 inches and the actual pattern was between 51 and 54 um, for the biggest size and that's what I've knitted and I was just like oh my god <laughs> it's huge um, I think you could probably tell by this bit here um, 
but I think it's going to be cosy as well so I think it'll be like a cosy type jumper um especially with like all of the um color work here as it is sort of double thickness so I might just do it as oh, I really don't know shall I just do it as a full jumper and then I can wear it on chilly days <laughs> not freezing cold days I don't know that was my plan that's how much I've got done of that as there is no hurry for this um it's mine and I can knit it as and when I want so that's just living in my little handmade bag that I did I don't know why this is going in and out of focus I do apologize and then a little bit last night I was getting a bit fed up with knit 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 <laughs> on that jumper uh, so last night I knit a little bit on my March socks which yes I know it's the end of March or becoming the end of, end of March and I haven't got a pair of socks done yet but these this is what I've got so far I am using a pattern it's a free pattern on Ravelry I'll write the name here because I can't remember what it is um, but it's just a six row repeat um, and it's just like yarn overs and knit two together so um, that's really really easy I've got the cuff of the second one and hopefully they will match um, and for the heel I was thinking of doing an afterthought heel uh, just because I don't want to mess up the stripes and I don't really know where I want the heel to go yet so I was thinking of um, doing an afterthought with this is Folkestone Harbour Yarns um, it was just in a mini set that I got so that's that and the reason that I wanted to knit on the my jumper over the weekend more than anything was because I have a nearly finished object I should have started with this but hey ho this is the you got your sunglasses ready the orange jumper cardigan whatever you want to call it um oh my god it is so nice it needs blocking and it needs buttons i have ordered the buttons and i'm waiting for them to come hopefully they'll be here this week at some point um i'm hoping wednesday thursday the latest so what i'm gonna do is on wednesday i'm gonna um block this i'll probably just steam block it i think that might be the best bet but it is so bright um and before i start the yellow one i'm going to give this to tina get um sophie to try it on and make sure that the lengths are okay i was going to give it to her without the button band on and i was like no what i'm going to do is i'm just going to finish it what and i'll um weave all the ends in block it weave all the ends in and then give it to her to see if it fits okay and we'll go from there i've still got to sort out the holes but that's not a problem the holes where on the other side is not so bad so i'm hoping once i've pulled the the yarn that's loose where i've joined the yarn it should be okay um so yeah i bought bright orange buttons and yellow buttons um but this pattern was so easy and so lovely to do um i would do it again i don't know whether the length is going to be long enough so that's why i want to block it um so i can at least block the length out a little bit so yeah it's really really nice um I'm gonna just put this back in here. I haven't done none on my wrap. I haven't even thought about that to be honest. It's not been in my mind. It'll probably be a project that I will do when I'm sitting outside to be honest. Um, yeah, I just thought it might be something I can do then. Um, the next thing is, um, so if you watched my vlogs or my vlog last week, I, um, we, should I say, started Slimming World. I have weighed myself this morning, so um, I started Monday, and I weighed myself Monday, I've weighed myself this morning, and I have lost, ta da 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 six pounds, oh my god, I'm so happy, um, and I printed one of these um, pound chart things, um, obviously because we're not going Slimming World, I want something that I can actually visually see as well, um, so I just printed off one of these that was off the internet, and I've coloured in six pounds, um, so I'm now down to um, 
18 stone, 13 pound and a half. So oh, I'm so happy. Um, I wanted at least, I secretly wanted at least five pound because I knew that I could probably do five pound on my first week. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy. And what I wanted more was to get into the 18 stone bracket. Um, so I am so over the moon. Um, I haven't ate nothing today, which is so bad, but I've been dying yarn today. Today's been a yarn dying day. It is so super, super sunny. So all the yarn is downstairs in the sun. I did take a little video and I did take a picture, I think. Um, I can't remember, but I'll insert it um, so you can see. But I have got some Cadbury's cream egg going in the shop, and I've got um, a custom order that I had to do, and I've got some really nice other colours, and I have got some double knit going in the shop as well. Um, and what I've done is I've done the double knit in in some of the same colours as I've done the four ply. So really excited to get that in the shop and get it dried and at least see it dried it looks yarn looks so different dried um so that's that <clears throat> and then also over the weekend i have been planning out trying to do my sister's jumper she wants the dino raw jumper the same as what i made mikey and then i've got a test knit that i want to do which is by the same lady megan regan and that is um a test knit it's a llama jumper. I did show a picture. But I'm allowed to show a picture of the um, test knit. But I obviously can't show you the design or anything. But I've coloured mine in. So with the patterns that she produces, she always does like a rough drawing on the back. So you can colour it in to see your colours and everything. Um, so this is the colour of my test knit uh, llama jumper obviously it's not out yet the first of April I believe that it's out so I need to get my finger out and at least get this started um, so yeah that is that and then for Casey's jumper um, she wants a grey jumper we've already bought the yarn for it um, and we was thinking of what she wanted the dinosaurs and the colour work to be um, so I've coloured this in um, and she wants a a, a grey jumper um, and I had in the shop which I've taken out um, because I thought it'd be great for what she wants is Blue Lagoon in double knit and this is a turquoisey greeny purpley all different types of colours in this and I thought this would be perfect for the dinosaurs I showed her and she was like yes that is what I want to go for the dinosaurs and then I was saying to her right I'm gonna dye yarn next week what do you want to go with it because I think it would be better with two different colors and she was like a purple um, like a galaxy type colorway um, and and things like that so I was like okay let me see what I can do and we'll go from there bearing in mind my first ever hand dyed yarn was um, a double knit that I didn't realise at the time. And I just looked up and I was like, what about that? Which is this one. So we're not 100% sure on this one yet. So this is a double knit. It's the very, very first skein I ever dyed up. It was part of my um, World of Wool kit. And um, it was supposed to be a lot more pinker than this, uh, but this is, the colourway I haven't got a name for it I never named it it just yeah I think it's beautiful I absolutely love it um but I said to it they don't really go together perfectly um obviously there is some um like bluey bits in there and there's like speckly purpley bits and whatever so she was like no no but I really like it and I think sometimes colours don't have to go together for them to be in a project together if that makes sense um so we have come to the decision of so the dinosaurs and all these bits here in the green and then all these other little bits are here and here in the other color but today i have dyed up a color that she might like so what i've decided is that if she does like 
one of the colourways that I've dyed up today. She can have that one in her jumper instead, but she has to decide between the two. And um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, she will get a hand dyed skein of yarn or two hand dyed skeins of yarn in her jumper. Her birthday is tomorrow. And yes, I know there's no jumper. I have bought her some little bits and pieces just to open for now, um, but she said there's no rush for her jumper, which I feel really guilty about. I do want to get it started, so um, I'll tell you my plan in a second, but that is that one. And then for my jumper, obviously, as you can see, I have bought navy from Aldi. I've got grey already, so I've got lots of grey. Um, I bought the dark pink from Aldi and the baby pink, I've got lots of baby pink as well. So that is my jumper plans. I'm going to do a pink stripe in the rib all around as well. That's the plans for my jumper. Um, and my plans for uh, the next, until the end of the month. So until the end of the month, what I want to do is I want to cast on Casey's jumper. So I'm gonna put mine on the back burner just for a little while. I'm going to cast on Casey's jumper and at least get the colour work done. I could probably get that colour work done in three or four days if I sit down and do quite a big bunch of it of an evening or at least during the day or whenever. So I could probably get that done in a few days and then split for the sleeves and then I know it's just all knitting. And then what I'm going to do is for my one, I want to at least get that done and then cast on for my one no later than the 1st of April. <laughs> I know I'm cutting this so fine, um, but I thought as long as I can get the colour work done and get the um, a little bit of the body done, at least I can give feedback on the actual pattern, on the colour work, my tension, um, if it's going to fit me okay, and bits and pieces like that. The only thing that I can't really feed back on would be how much yarn that I've used, but I'm sure that that will be okay. Um, so that is my plan, is to get Casey's cast on, and by the 1st of April, uh, get my one cast on and at least get it done. The other thing is, we've measured ourselves, and I'm still a 53 inch around um so i've decided to go down a couple of sizes because i thought well one if i'm gonna lose weight then i don't want it too big two i seem to knit everything huge <laughs> so i've decided to go down a couple of sizes um the actual sizes in the pattern is 48 53 and then it jumps all the way to 56 i think um so i've decided to do the 48 um it's actual size and I thought it might give me a little bit incentive for the winter for or autumn so I can have a jumper that fits me. <laughs> um, I won't have any hand dyed yarn in mine um, but that's okay. I love double knit, just normal yarn. It is double knit, they're both double knit, yeah. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting started. So that is what I've been up to. Um, but my plans for going forward in vlogging YouTube stuff. Um, I am going to do a weekly vlog uh, because just lately I'm finding that I haven't got much to vlog, not really going out much and whatever. Um, and I'm finding it hard to pick up the camera a lot during the day. So I'm gonna do a weekly vlog. So that will be either, I'm gonna to start today. So after this, I will start a weekly vlog. Um, so it will start on a Monday and it will roll all the way to Sunday, whether I vlog at the weekend or not, I'm not sure. But obviously I will have to end the vlog at some point. And it will, they will probably be really long because <laughs> I, I tend to do that. I tend to think, I don't really vlog much and then, an hour goes past and the video's ending. So that will be the next thing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a weekly vlog and then once a week, maybe once every two weeks, I'm gonna come on and do a craft update video. Don't wanna really call it a podcast or anything. It's just gonna be a general sit down, show what I've been working on properly um, and that type of video instead of in vlog style. I know a few people 
really enjoy every video that I put up. And I know some people would rather just watch the crafty stuff. So I thought I would do it that way. I will still show my crafty stuff in the vlogs and what I'm working on and bits and pieces. Um, but like I've, I've done before, oh, I'm working on this, blah, blah, blah. And not really spoke about it as such. Um, so you will get that as well. If I decide to do more than once a week, then I will. I'm just doing me, like I said before. I'm doing it how I want to and if there is a month that I want to do daily vlogs then I will as well um, nothing set in stone but that is just how I'm gonna go forward for now so that's everything I've got to show today um, I'm sure it is <laughs> uh, we we are having for dinner tonight um, crispy chili beef which is in the book nom nom is it nom nom? <coughs> Pinch of nom, not nom nom. Pinch of nom. Ian um, bought this book off of e uh, Amazon and oh, the recipes in it are so nice. But catch my vlog for that because I will probably mention it in that as well. But I'm going to go for this video, get this um, uploaded later. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you very soon. Bye.